Right now we're going to cover loading the conveyor dryer. As you notice, we have two different types of conveyor dryers here. We have the low rider dryer, which has a tilted belt and goes underneath the press. This is a great space saver. Then we have the MNR Fusion dryer, a little bit wider belt. This is more of an automatic style dryer. Now, Ryanet sells a lot of different types of dryers, starting out with the Little Buddy, which has an 18 inch wide belt. And then one of the most popular dryers is the Econocure dryer, which is a 24 inch wide belt, eight foot long dryer. Now, both of these dryers are a little different and how we load the shirts on them very differently. The low rider dryer has a little bit of a sticky belt. There's two ways you can load the shirt on the low rider dryer. You can either fold the arms underneath the shirt like this, and then load the shirt onto the belt like so, or you can take the t-shirt and load it halfway on the dryer like so, and then let it slide underneath the belt. Either way is gonna be just fine. Same thing kind of goes with the auto dryer right here. Because this dryer has a 36 inch wide belt, it allows us to load the shirts a little faster. That's why it's optimal for an automatic. The low runner dryer can cure about 250 shirts an hour. This one can cure about 600 shirts an hour. So it's a pretty big difference. The little buddy dryer, the starting line dryer, cures about 120 shirts an hour on the 220 version and about 80 shirts an hour on the 110 volt version. And the account of cure dryer is about in the middle of the road. That's the 24 inch wide belt dryer. That one cures about 200 shirts an hour. So on this dryer right here, we're gonna take the shirt off the press and then we can either just set the shirt directly onto the belt like that, or we can do the fold of the t-shirt, fold the sleeves underneath, depending on the size of the t-shirt, and allow it to go through the dryer like that. For double X or triple X shirts, you wanna be a little more careful on how you load them into the dryer. That's probably gonna to need to go on this low rider dryer, maybe folded like this, or you're really gonna to need to tuck under the sleeves, maybe a even a little bit more under the sleeves. And especially on this bigger dryer, we can't set it directly flat on the belt because the t-shirt sleeves will hang down. So we do need to tuck under the sleeves, or we can fold the shirt like that, laying it half on the dryer like so.